Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And first of all, I want to say before we get to the meat and potatoes of this video, the response from the last video, the first video about setting up a Synology Windows domain controller video. Thank you so much to everybody. The responses have actually been so overwhelming and so positive, and there's been so many good questions that my next video, I already had this video planned, so we're going to roll through it real quick. And as I was trying to figure out how we're going to make all the pieces fit together. Uh, but what I'm going to do is my next video that I will hopefully release uh, Saturday, Sunday, somewhere in there. I'm going to go back and answer all the questions, even the ones where people are criticizing Synology. I'm going to respond to that because I think some people actually, before they've actually tried this, uh, they dismiss it and uh, they just want to criticize things, right? So we're going to go back. We're going to answer those questions. We're going to talk about the criticism, the, the critiques and all those things. And I will tell you that I support this in the real world, right? So uh, what are we talking about in this video? As the title indicates, we are going to prep our network and our router for adding machines to our Windows domain controller. So there's a couple of really important things, and this doesn't matter what it doesn't matter whether you're using a, a Synology as a Windows domain controller or whether you're using a Microsoft Windows server. Uh, there are some things that you can do. Uh, this is nature versus nurture to make sure that your deployment goes as smooth as possible. You have as few problems as possible. And one of those things that you can do. And this doesn't, it doesn't matter, by the way, what your, your router is. It could be a cheap D-Link router, a cheap Linksys router. It can be this UDR. It can be the Grandstream router, the Synology router. It can be any of these. It could be Cisco, Juniper, blah, blah, blah. Name a brand. We're going to set it up the same way no matter what the, um, the router manufacturer is, right? And what we're going to do is we're going to modify our DHCP to do a couple of things for us. First, we're going to hand out the domain name uh, to the clients of our domain. So in this case, it's willyhow.net. And then we're also going to change the DNS server that the clients get automatically to be the Synology. Now, there were some questions about what if I want to use a pie hole, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to answer all those because you can absolutely use all of those solutions in conjunction with this for extended uh, coverage, protection, security, things like that. But what you're going to do is you're going to hop into your router. I am in my UDR, and I am going to go to my, my options for the, the network. Now, you can see I'm already handing out willyhow.com. I'm actually going to go ahead and take that out, and I'm going to hand out uh, willyhow.net. And then right here where it says uh, D, DHCP, D, DHCP DNS server on... A lot of routers, if you don't specify it, it's the router, and then it proxies those connections to your ISP. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uncheck this, and I'm going to put in 192.168.66.2, because remember, that's the IP address that we set for our Synology. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this, and now uh, once the... Um, Changes take effect. My clients reboot in the the one of the upcoming videos where we join our first Windows workstation to this um, domain controller. It will go very, 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 very smoothly. So if you've got any questions about this portion, um, let me know down in the comments. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and that you subscribe, comment, and share. Follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below along with our affiliate links and also our Patreon link. And if you need IT consulting, if you want to get this set up for yourself, security is not slowing down, folks. So this is one way you can manage centralized machines. Reach out at willyhow.com, click hire us or contact us, fill that information out, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.